Oh, we had definitely, if you ever go to a Renaissance fair, you got to have a turkey leg. Oh, yeah, try out their legs, man. Oh, they're delicious. And they have, I think, I think they have something else there, like pretzels, like cream-filled pretzels, and they're freaking delicious. I don't oh, know I what's in them, but those. we'll have to try them the, the next time we go. Um, it'll be great. The bad, the worst thing of all at the on this trip was that when Claw Shot got here, I had a belt and I had a chain. Well, I had tried on this belt and chain for Tuscan's character, and I tried it on, tried moving my neck around. Well, it was going to be kind of a restriction, and I couldn't really move my head that well. That, and if I needed to t tear my head off for any reason really fast, I wouldn't be able to do it fast enough, especially if it was a heat issue. So I was going to bring it with me just in case I wanted to use it. Well, I how many I didn't I seem to not have any of my stuff together. I didn't have a bag. I think we left and came back to the house like three different times. Yeah, probably because the first time I forgot Tuscan's head. I was all decked out in her bodysuit. We got in the car. We were about to leave, and I'm like, oh, I don't have her head. Now, how you forget your fursuit head? <laughs> When you're dressed in your fursuit, I don't know, but it but it happened. And then the second time, I found out I was missing one of Tuscan's gloves, so we had to come back then. And then I was missing something else, and we had to stop the car. Oh, we probably couldn't see, find your collar. I don't think we could find my collar, and oh, so we okay. stopped the car. But I think I sat it on the outside of the car, and then we drove off without it. Yeah. And I think that's when I lost it, because once we got to the fair, it was gone. I, I don't even... I don't know what happened to it, and I'm really sad because I can't find another belt yeah. like it. It was a great belt, and I, it was sad, so I'm like, huh. Yeah. So. Well, maybe, maybe you'll find another one like it. I hope so. Or I can make one. I might try making one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. We had some, you know, you know, every once in a while when you're at an event, you get one, of, you get one or two kids that are like, well, I'm not scared of you. You're just a person in a costume. Yeah. <laughs> and we had a few of those. But my theory is, if they weren't, if they were, if they weren't afraid of us, they wouldn't have said anything about it. <laughs> so they were kind of nervous and afraid. But it, I don't know. It's kind of annoying sometimes when you get that one kid that's like, you're just a person in a costume. It's like, yeah, I know I'm a person in a costume. You're supposed Where, to pretend. You're supposed to pretend. Where's your imagination? But I noticed some kids are just, they don't seem to have a, they don't seem to have, like, they don't seem to have that playful, they're like kind of smart alecky and snobby about it. Yeah, I mean, that's probably just like a defensive, it's probably a way to make them feel, themselves feel better. Yeah. So they, that's like what, or they're just trying to be like a smart, uh, a wise butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And like just to like be like, I know everything. I'm adult now. <laughs> I'm it's all like, grown up. Uh, it's like no, you're not. No, it's like you got to learn how to play first before you grow up. Yeah, but then they, they will. Mm -hmm. Like it's just it's a learning curve, learning process as you grow older. Because, like like for me, even though I knew that I found out like it's just a person in a costume, I still. I still loved him anyway, like, I'm like, oh, give me a hug, I love you, because, like, you just want to play along even though, you know, it's fake, it's, there, it's still, it was a really cool experience, and uh, it was all magical to you then, and you still kind of want to relive that moment that you had. The cool thing about, I love Renaissance Fairs because the people will play with you. Yeah. They will not break. Oh, they, will. they will not break character for anything. I mean, they get paid to do this. One, they get paid, but two, they like they like doing it. So they will do it. Like they will die before they don't, you know, play <laughs> play with you. So they will play in character. And um, I think our day there, just by ourselves, without our um, our third person. That's the first. The, that was the first week. Yeah, that was the first week. Um, yeah, the first week, the day we were there, um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, you were talking about that they don't break character. Oh, yes, they don't break character. <laughs> I think we had a suggestive day when we were there. Like, oh. people were coming up with all sorts of, like, I think she likes it doggy style or something like that, or wolfy style. Yeah. Or, um, some, some of their themes, some of their, like, uh, their show themes are kind of adult rated sometimes. Yeah. Not, like, dirty, but kind of suggestive, innuendo y kind of stuff, so it was kind of amusing, because, I mean, that day, for some reason, we just kept getting innuendos. Oh. It was kind of funny. 
Oh, just people, just get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> We're here for the Renaissance Festival. Um, I noticed people, it was kind of, oh, remember when we sat on the benches? Well, I laid oh, down on yeah, the benches. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was kind of, I was getting kind of tired of walking around. Yeah. And I had went to a horror convention, uh, uh, let's see, earlier, uh, earlier last year. And I had found out that if you, I, I love pictures, I really do. And I could rest, but still get pictures. So I would lay on the floor or spread out on the couch and do some sexy or weird, funny pose. And then I could rest, but still get pictures that way. Well, we plopped down on a big, long bench yeah. at Rinse Fair, and she laid on my legs, and I just kind of spread out and sat, you know, like this. Yeah. Well, we actually got a lot of pictures that way, and, you know, people pointed at us and laughed and kept walking, but yeah. that was actually a pretty fun... That, yeah, it's, it's fun, like, even, uh, even when you're just motionless, people still would want pictures. But, yeah, we, we were resting, and um, I was just, like, resting my head on her legs, and... Uh, this, uh, like, one kid, he, he just, like, he just did, like, a walk-by pet. Just, it was just really soft and slow as he was walking by. Like, I, I'm, like, not paying attention, and all of a sudden I just see a hand on my muzzle just pet caressing me as he walks by. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, like, uh, it's like, okay, just, like, pet the sleeping dog. You want to let sleep, uh, sleeping dogs lie, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, though. I, did, I didn't care. I thought it was funny. And, yeah, like, people, like, kept wanting to sit next to us and, like, get the picture. Yeah. I think we only had one issue there with someone that wasn't being nice. Do you remember that? Oh, when, the, when this kid tried to break my finger? Yeah, he tried. Um, yeah. She, um, he... He stopped us, and he was kind of grinning a little bit, and he took... I was, I was like, uh, I was uh, playing along. Like, sometimes, like, when I'm, like, playing with people, I kind of point at them, like, just with my claw. And then he grabs my finger, like, really tight, and, like, I'm not saying anything. And I thought, okay, he'll just, he'll just, like, go soon. And so he just, like, keeps... And then he's, like, like twisting it, and, like, it, and it hurts, and I'm, like... And so I say... I just break character and say, don't do that. Like, I was just deadpan serious and mad. And he immediately lets go and says, sorry. And <laughs> it's like, well, if you're sorry, why, why did, did you, you do, do it, it in the first place? Yeah. Like, yeah, like, there's just stupid people like that that'll, they just don't think. It's like, he's only, only sorry that he got caught. Yeah. That he's about to get in trouble. I'll kick his butt now. <laughs> I won't hurt anybody. But it's like, well, these these costumes are expensive, and they are. and you don't want to hurt the person in the costume. No, either. and it's like some people just don't have common sense. So that's usually why we didn't. We kind of were looking out for each other. I I know it's not safe to have to not have a handler, just someone out of costume. But we did meet Daniel later, so that yeah, he good. he was our handler for the rest of the day. Yeah. But we did, yeah, we wanted to suit together and at the same time, and we both really wanted to be in costume. And I actually like like I can see real and hear really well in this mask, and. It, like I can see really well, and uh, I would uh, and, like I can wear this for a uh, very long periods of time. Like she can. Yeah, we were we were there for like nine hours. I was probably in suit for nine hours. Only yeah, probably she, took the head off once. Yeah, she. I was so jealous. I was like <laughs> peanut butter jelly with a cherry on top. <laughs> um, like I, I, I had to take off my head like every like five, maybe ten, fifteen yeah, minutes you, to take a have, break. It's because you're, uh, you're, you have all fur, and I mostly, I just have. She fur. was a body. She was like a late, like, what lycra bodysuit or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like a think of a like a one piece ballerina outfit. Yeah. A uh, leotard or yeah, whatever. Yeah, like that. Yeah, she, she, and she, she was comfortable as all get out. I'm here suffocating and taking my head off, and I wanted to keep my head on, but I'm not stupid, so if I get hot, I take my head off and I take breaks. And I've never had a problem because of that. And I've actually got to where I can stay in suit longer 
now because I've, I've I probably suited longer than I needed to, but I wanted to build up my heat tolerance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you, you were suited up the whole time. Yeah, I didn't I didn't even go pee, but I <laughs> mean I was pretty much sweating it out, and I hydrated before that. I hydrated oh, yeah. I hydrated like two or three days before we actually went. So yeah. I was drinking nothing but water the whole time. So basically, usually if you're going to soup for long hours, you probably won't pee. You'll just sweat. Um, so, but it was yeah. actually nice because I tore Tuscan's bodysuit in two, and I just have her legs now because um, uh, the zipper had a bad habit. I changed the zipper. I reinstalled it because I was trying a new technique, and I wish I never would have uh, messed with it because mm -hmm. that uh, the zipper the zipper tie broke. And so I was using a bread tie to zip it up and down, and like the bread tie was so fragile, like if you pulled it wrong or just a little bit, but the zipper was cheap and it was getting caught and it was kind of ripping, so that was causing the zipper to get stuck. Mm -hmm. So the last thing I wanted to do was have to go pee, and then somebody has to unzip me. It took two or three people to zip me up to make sure the, the suit wasn't, you know, it would close and yeah. then it would zip up. And it was just, it was just more trouble than it was worth. So I was really thankful I didn't have to go pee for nine hours. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I tore the I took I took the bodysuit apart. And now she just she's a three quarter suit mm -hmm. now, and that's that's a lot easier on me because then I I just I probably won't do that again. I'll try something different. Uh, the longest that I've ever suited, I broke my record, uh, is when I went to Calicon this year, and uh, like we I, I I was carpooling with people, so I had to get up early and get ready early. So I had my suit on. It was probably eight a.m. and uh, uh, I, I, so like we did go to the con and we were going to stay there the whole day and I was probably in suit for about 12 hours because <laughs> uh, we were, we got there about 9 or 9.30 and I didn't leave until it was almost 11 o'clock and I was in my costume the whole time. But man, that day we were really sleepy. Like everyone in our group was really tired. And me, I'm usually not because usually I just get the adrenaline of suiting. Uh, but I don't think I slept well that night, so it really caught up to me. And I knew don't want to drink caffeine. Uh, so I didn't have any caffeine that day because it makes you want to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want, <laughs> I was going to be there like the whole time. And I didn't want to get out of my costume, um, but uh, but yeah, like if I really needed to, I did pack extra clothes in case I wanted to get out of my suit. But I actually uh, I survived and stayed the whole time in my suit. Uh, man, just like and people like they still wanted to stay later, but I'm like, no, I'm tired. I want to go home. Yeah. So I had to call to get another ride because they still wanted to stay behind. I'm like, I need to sleep. I'm tired. You were not in this the whole time. Yeah. But, uh... We had a lot of people at Ren's Fair also that some people are really consoling and they'll give you kudos for suiting. Oh, yeah. Um, they'll be like, oh, it's got to be hot in there. I don't see how you guys do it. Like, you guys made this, this event for me. Like, I've... I've had people thank me for being there, and it's like, Aww. I didn't do anything, but like, you know, you, you made their day because you played your character well. Like, we even had a few people that thought we were part of the park. Yeah, like, they would, they think, like, we're staff, and, uh, like, like, hey, where's the bathrooms, or where can I find this, and I'm like, sorry, I, I don't know. I'm like, we're just here like you are. Not we're just it's not like we could even tell them anyway, because we're supposed to be silent characters. Uh, Tuscan's a silent character. She doesn't talk. I do talk in Snow Bunny. Usually I'm by myself, and I, I'm really independent in suit. I like to run around, and I don't usually, I can't seem to not get a good person that knows how to handle, or that actually wants to follow me around out of suit. Most of the people I'm around, they want to be in costume too, so everybody's pretty busy. So you, I only talk in Snow Bunny. Tuscan doesn't talk, so she she's a bad attitude character, and you don't like my voice is all high pitchy and girly, so I don't want a girly voice coming out of this big buff werewolf. It just doesn't fit. So Tuscan doesn't usually talk. Yeah, like uh, my voice isn't as girly, uh, but like I just don't see this character talking at all. Uh, so, like, that's why I just made her a silent character, um, but, like, for, 
like my next suit for uh, Roxy, who's being made by Apple Monster Studios, uh, I'm probably going to have her talk, like, uh, maybe around other characters or, or older people, but, like, I probably wouldn't talk around kids, because then when you're talking to a kid, they're going to, like, uh, they'll want you to keep, they'll try to keep making you talk, and it's like... <laughs> it kind of messes up the significance of your character, because all they remember is you talking. Yeah. And they they tell that in first suit performance, like, if you're going to do anything like talking or making sound effects, you need to be careful because that's, people will want you to do it again and again and again. Yeah. And if you, you know, if you do it once, you're, they're going to have to do it again. Like, I was at a birthday party yeah. as Tuscan, and they wanted me to bark, so I did bark. Well, I can't tell you how many times they wanted me to bark after that, so that is true. And uh, plus, I'm this big buff werewolf, and they thought I was a guy at first, and then they hear me bark, <laughs> and they were the look on their faces was hysterical once they found out I was a girl. But then yeah. they wanted me to bark again, so you, you got to be careful about what you're what you do while in suit, because people will. That's how people are. Yeah, like uh, yeah, yeah, like for like uh, when you go to like a furry con or maybe even just any con, and if you do have a talking character, then yeah, you can talk, but, like, when, when it's for kids, like, I'll just, like, my mouth is zipped shut. I, I'm, I'm just going to be the silent character for them. Um, you can reach us on FA, uh, you can send us notes, or you can reach us on this YouTube channel here. Yep, you can and, comment below. Yeah, comment below, and we'll try to get back with you as soon as possible yeah. about anything. But uh, I think that about wraps it up. Yep. And uh, there might be future videos soon, I don't know when, because we both, well, I lead a very busy life of the dreaded college. Yeah, she's in college. I, I'm trying to focus on first seat building, and uh, we live, yeah. we live like, we live like three hours apart, so we can't say when we'll get together again, but probably, possibly, uh, sometime soon, maybe even in oh. next month we're going to a... Uh, Gateway for me. Yeah, Gateway Fermi. We're going to Gateway Fermi. It's a first year con, and it's in St. Louis, and we'll be going I'll there. I'll provide a link. Yeah, she'll provide a link. Um, so, like, if you guys are in the Missouri, St. Louis area, come join us. Totally come over. Um, I'll be, I'll, um, who will you be? The breath? Um, if, if his partial's done, I will be the Skull Beast Demon. And uh, I will likely have crime too. Okay, I will be in Snow Bunny. I'm go. I'm taking the train, and they only allow you two bags. I'm gonna have to pay twenty extra dollars to have my oversized fursuit bag with me. Yeah. So I'm only able to bring one fursuit. So Tuscan will be there. But look for the white Tauntaun. Uh, she'll probably be the only Tauntaun there, and you'll know her when you see her. She's adorable. <laughs> but um, yeah, that'll be me. So uh, uh, we will have to. Uh, cut this video, and it is late, and we need sleep. To get, yeah, we need rest. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, look forward to more. Well, as they come, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye. Later.